Now you can get a lot of great information nutritionally with just looking at someone's lips. So today we're going to talk about how to use the lips to help diagnose what's going on inside. So let's start off with um, just pale or gray lips. This is usually a situation where you are anemic, okay? Now there's two main types of anemia. One would be an iron deficiency anemia, and the other one would be a B12 deficiency anemia. So it could be either or, but if you're deficient in copper, that could affect your ability to absorb iron. And so that can cause the deficiency as well. So it could be a lack of copper, iron, or B12. Now, normally you get iron in red meat and especially liver and seafood. Um, spinach is not a good source of iron, despite all those Popeye cartoons. So as far as the scenarios that you could be iron deficient, it could be you just don't consume uh, any meats at all. You're, you're more of a, a vegan. It could also be a lack of hydrochloric acid. Let's say, for example, you're on an antacid. That can create a deficiency of iron. Or let's say you're consuming a lot of um, grains with these phytates. Phytates are like anti-nutrients. They will block the ability to absorb minerals, especially iron. So if you're doing a lot of grains, that could be why you're iron deficient. Now, it could also be that you're a female and you have heavy periods and you're losing a lot of blood. That's another reason why you're anemic. And also it could be that you have inflammation in your gut. Let's say you have um, IBS or some type of um, Crohn's or diverticulitis or any type of inflammatory problem with the bowels that can definitely stop you from absorbing minerals, including B12. Now, as far as the anemia with B12, that can also be a lack of hydrochloric acid. It could also mean that you're not consuming enough animal products because that's where you get B12 from animal products. And so the same things that can create an iron deficiency could also create a B12 deficiency. All right, what about if you have blue lips? Okay, well, it could be that you just came out of the cold. Um, that could be one reason because temperature can drive all the blood internally and create a lack of blood flow to your lips. But it can also be other things like you're in shock. Uh, it could also be a cyanide uh, poisoning. And just as a side note, there is a natural remedy for cyanide poisoning I want to bring your attention to. It's called hydroxocobolamine. It's a type of B12 that you can actually order online. B12 combines with cyanide to form cyanocobolamine and helping reduce that toxicity. Now, what about if your lips are uh, becoming darker? Um, that could be your smoker or exposed to a lot of secondhand smoke. So of course, smoking has a lot of chemicals. Smoking decreases oxygen and circulation in the body, but smoking will interfere with the pigment melanin too and create a darker appearance on your lips. You, you may also notice these uh, vertical wrinkles around the mouth if you're a smoker. All right, now what about dry lips? Well, there could be a couple different reasons for dry lips. The biggest one would be a lack of essential fatty acids, uh, specifically omega-3 fatty acids. And that could be either you're not consuming enough omega-3 because you don't eat fish or cod liver oil, or it could be more commonly a situation where you're consuming a lot of omega-6 fatty acids. That would be in the typical foods uh, that you would eat at a fast food restaurant or even a lot of the other restaurants out there. It's uh, omega-6 fatty acids that include corn oil, soy oil, canola, cottonseed oil, which is in so many of our foods. So a lot of people are heavy on that and they're not doing enough omega-3 and that will just totally dry out your lips, which can also cause you to have chap lips. So dry lips and chap lips uh, kind of cross over, but if you have just generally dry lips, I would start to beef up your omega-3 fatty acids with cod liver oil or consuming more salmon, things like that, wild caught salmon. Now, if you have chap lips, that could be a combination of omega-3 uh, fatty acid deficiency it could also be a vitamin D deficiency, which you'll see in the winter time. And so this is why people have chapped lips during the winter and they use Carmex or they might uh, use different types of lip balms, but that usually dries out the lips because it has mineral oil. Make sure you never put anything on your body that has mineral oil because it can extract the fat-soluble vitamins. That includes taking mineral oil in any of your products because that'll 
extract the fat soluble vitamins and end up drying out things externally and internally. It's not good for the liver. It could also be a zinc deficiency, or it could be that you're getting too much vitamin A. So vitamin A toxicity, which would usually come from a supplement you're taking with just high doses. Maybe you're trying to get rid of your acne and taking a lot of vitamin A, and that is creating the, the vitamin A toxicity, which then will lead to um, chapped lips. So any one of these imbalances can create that. When you have too much vitamin A, you can, it can actually deplete your vitamin D. Um, so it's really the balance of these fat-soluble vitamins. And of course, the best way to get vitamin D is through the sun, okay? So the sun will give you a good amount of vitamin D. Um, I have a lot of videos on vitamin D. I will put some links down below. Now, of course, zinc, you would get in red meat, okay? You would also get in seafood, shellfish, oysters, things like that. Now, what about the cracks in the corner of the mouth? That is usually a B2 deficiency. That usually occurs because you're consuming too many refined carbohydrates, okay? Refined carbohydrates will create a B2 deficiency and it can show up as a cracked corner of the mouth. The other way that people become deficient in the other B vitamins is they're lacking the microbiome. They usually had an antibiotic or they're eating foods that don't support the microbiome because your microbiome can make B2. And the best diet to give you B2 would be a good amount of eggs, egg yolk, uh, also cheese, make sure it's high quality cheese, not American cheese. And the leafy greens will give you a good amount of B2. And of course, you're going to have to avoid the refined grains. So I just wanted to do this quick video to kind of help you diagnose the inside of your body just by looking at your lips. Now, I have a lot of other videos uh, to help diagnose internal deficiencies by looking at uh, certain uh, external parts of the body, including the nails. So that would be a good video for you to check out. I put it right here.